Hello everyone, this is Caitlin and today we are making 1830s Bonnet. Alright, here we are, um, working on the crown, I think is what this part is called. Yes, I'm doing it by machine, yes it's an 1830s piece, this should be done by machine. I have not figured out bonnets by hand. They just do not turn out right if I do them by hand. And I don't know why, because usually I feel like I have more control and things turn out better when I do it by hand. But for some reason, bonnets do not work. So here we are. I just drafted my own pattern. There's an original for sale right now on Etsy. And I basically just guesstimated proportions and made a pattern. So this is the brim part, and or crown, this is the crown. And I'm finishing up the last little bit, trying to get down to this edge, at which point we need to peel off lots and lots of paper. That looks pretty good. Lots of paper to pull off, but I think I'm going to get all of the pieces done first and then we'll talk about getting the paper off. Alright, now we're making the tip part, which again I just have my little circle of paper and I'm just sewing this braid in a circle. Uh, I'm trying to do it for y'all can see it on the camera slightly. Getting it started is always the hardest part, especially when you're in a circle like this. Getting it well, getting it wet helps a ton. Oops, ran out the red. Yes, I did. But that's sort of what it's looking like. So I am going to, once I get this done, I'm going to take all the paper off of this one before I do the um, brim. And then I'm going to soak it and stack it between some really heavy books to kind of flatten this out. So I don't have that little shaping there because you don't want that. You want it to be flat. Alright, brim. So, working on sewing this bit together. Same way I have with the others. It's just a little bit easier because I'm not working in the round anymore. So I have the brim covered. I'm just going to trim off these ends. Need to match the pattern piece. There we go. Now the original shows some straw that is um, put on af you know, over top to make it thicker on both the top and the bottom. And I think I'm going to do that. I might go ahead and sew the four pieces together and then stitch them on, if that makes any sense. So I sew them and then stitch them on this. I think this would be the most logical choice, but we're getting there. So hopefully that's wide enough. I think it is. We'll see. But I think that that full four piece is meant to house the, um, the wire. As I think it does. That's what we're going to use it for. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. It's going to go all the way around here. And I think it's going to also, it's also supposed to finish off this edge. So it's a finishing tool. I'm going to sandwich some uh, millinery wire in there as well. Slight change of plans. I'm going to sew this to this right now instead before I do that part because I think the uh, extra bits are supposed to go all the way around. 
I'm not sure. I gotta look at the original again, but pretty sure. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sew this together. All right, so I totally forgot I was filming this um, project because I've been doing a lot of projects lately that I've been just tiny little projects and I haven't been filming, so I forgot that, you know, I have a YouTube channel and I'm supposed to be filming this type of thing. So I don't think I got too far ahead. I did completely redo the crown here uh, because it just wasn't fitting right. It was far too big for my head, so I completely redid that. Uh, just picked apart the straw I already used and did it again. So I think I had that fixed, and sorry if you hear a kitten in the background, I got a kitten tonight, and she's not happy that she's stuck in the bathroom right now, but Ilara is very unhappy that she's here, so uh, for her safety, she's got to stay in there while I finish, get, for her safety, she's got to stay in there while I, you know, get a little bit of this done. But uh, right now I'm taking little strips of straw, I sewed two pieces together, and I did two sets of them, so four pieces of straw all together, and I am hitting the edge of the bonnet right between them and just sandwiching it and sewing it this is where I'm going to put the wire in a minute Got it done. So that way at least it all looks nice and finished. So I'm going to wire it, put wire in between these little layers, and then whip all that together. And I also have to put the tip on because that's not done yet. Alright, bonnet is wired. I'm putting in the tip here, which I'm just sewing it in by hand. makes it much easier in my opinion and then like it looks like that so it looks like it it's very seamless and it's not super flat it kind of has this rounded portion that's just slightly round which is what you see in originals so I'm quite happy with how that's turning out I am going to work on the shaping of this brim because it needs to be a little bit I don't know like this I need to do this to the center uh, but that may be, you know, playing with it once it's all trimmed, too. We shall see. I'll continue playing with that. But it's coming along. We're almost done. Um, after I put this tip in, we will trim it. Well, I might, I might line it first. I'm not going to face it, I've decided. I think we discussed this before. That I'm seeing a lot of um, working class women, portraiture of working class women, portraiture of working class women that um, their bonnets were not faced. Um, and you know, you do see both. I've seen both, but because this is supposed to be a working class bonnet, I'm going to go with not. And plus it's less work. I'm finishing up the lining of the bonnet. Just sewing in some cotton. It's really just cotton and I'm just stitching it in, trying to make it as easy as possible. And I wish, it, and I was going to introduce y'all to the new kitten, but I don't know where she ran off to. I purposely put her on the couch with me, and then she ran off. Okay, she's probably under the couch because Alara's angry with her. Laura's also angry with me for bringing her into the house, so. Alright, and I very well could have faced this in silk, but we would have done that before now. So we're not going to do it. And we are going to ignore the crazy cat drama that's going, under, that's going on underneath the couch. Yay! Okay. Um, I haven't quite decided on the curtain. I don't think we need one. And I'm seeing some bonnets with them and some bonnets without them. Whether or not the ones without them would have had a ribbon curtain, I don't know. I'm going to go without for now until I figure out, you know, if they're really what's supposed to be one. So, let's work on trimming it. So, I have 
so let's see. All right, so first, let's pull up the original roll book. It's on Etsy. All right, we're going to, I think, just put this bit here. Actually, on this side. We're going to cover it with a bow. Move this down. And probably it doesn't look like it's that big. So we're just going to put it here. I'll just tie that real quick. And just tuck those ends under. Tuck this from the other way. Alright, there we go. A little knot. That'll work. I can live with that. All right, on this side, I don't want that to be that big. I kind of want it to be gathery. Yeah, we'll do that. And then I'm going to put in the ties. And I think, here's the tie, I think we're going to fold it in half. And then fold it in half again. Now let's do... Let's do a box plate like that. Be a little bit bigger. You can see how precise all this is. Okay. Alright, tuck that up for just a second. We're gonna put the ties right here. Figure out where I put my black thread and my needle. All right, let's go ahead and just whip this. All right, and we're going to fold this back down. Get this all nice and covered. And then we're gonna do a few little stitches just to kind of get them or get this to stay in place. And I think I'm gonna fold. Actually I think she just really likes thread. Here she comes. This is Stella. Stella has been here for 24 hours and has discovered that she really likes bonnets and she really likes thread. Can you hang out over here, baby? Oh yeah, and she purrs. Ilara doesn't really purr, so this is very interesting to me. So to me, this is like very interesting to hear her just tiny little body just purr like that. Okay, on this side, which I'm going to move around the cat. We're going to put on the other tie. Alright, that'll work. And I'm not terribly concerned about this because I'm about to cover it all up. So we are just going to tack it down so that this doesn't go anywhere. And the bow I came up with, it's like a little four loop bow, I suppose you would call it. So we're just going to make sure it looks all nice. Well, this is the way I want it to be before I stitch it down. I think I can live with that. All right, let's put this bow right here, right on top of that knot, if Stella will let me. All right, right there, I think that looks good. Let's go with that. So we're just gonna really just whip this on. All right, we have a completed bonnet. All right, here we are. 
So I'm in a late 1830s dress today because I was already filming the ending for this and figured might as well do the 1830s cap. And here she is. She worked out really well by the way. Like a really nice bonnet. And now I feel pretty confident in making 1830s bonnets. I really wasn't competent in my confident in my ability beforehand. I mean I made one for San Felipe. Um, there's a few issues with that bonnet in particular, how I did this part. Um, there's this more flat, and I sh there, there's a way I figured out how to do it now. Um, took me a couple tries with this bonnet, but I figured it out. So, if I ever get that bonnet back in my hands, I'll probably fix that. But um, Still no curtain. I just decided not to do one. I mean, the original we were basing off of does have a curtain made of straw. I just really didn't feel like figuring out that. So... I decided to leave it off. I could have done a ribbon one, but I'd only bought enough ribbon to do this part. I didn't have any extra ribbon, and I didn't have enough time to order anymore. So I just left the curtain off. I have seen some bonnets without a curtain in this time period, so I didn't feel awful leaving it off, but I think it would be better with one. So I might put on a ribbon one. I might just leave it. I don't actually know. Yeah. Let's step back so you can actually see the whole bonnet in frame. There we go. So there's this side. It actually does shade the face pretty well, which is impressive because, you know, it wasn't, most bonnets don't shade the face. But this actually does a pretty good job most of the time to shade the face. So that is the bonnet. And of course with the cap, which you do it. You wear the cap under the bonnet. So in later time frames, we have a little frill it goes across and it's to mimic the, the um, cap that they no longer wear, but they kind of like the little white frilly bit, so they just put a frill in the bonnet to mimic that, which is interesting. So, I don't think I'd do anything differently, except maybe next time I might try the, um, the curtain um, in straw. I mean, it's kind of, kind of wanted to do it and I kind of didn't, so, um, Maybe next time I'll just feel brave enough to do it since now i figured out the logistics and everything else. I enjoyed it and it was something I definitely needed for the wardrobe, a lower class straw bonnet. So I'm glad we got it done. It certainly is helpful. Uh, it's definitely something I needed. But thank you so much for joining me today as I made it and have a fantastic week and I'll see you back here on Monday.